Hello guys, I welcome you all to this video. Myself, P. Monica, Assistant Professor of English, KSR College of Arts and Science, Bhagavan, Tirchampur. Today we are going to discuss the landmarks in English history. First one, the Norman Conquest. The Norman Conquest, which was happened in the year of 1066, after the death of King Edward. There was a battle between three members, Harald Garbinson, Harald Herberta and Willie. William he was a powerful man and he was the brother of king edward after the death of king edward many people supporting william and he won the battle too after the reign of william there are so many changes that happened in england and europe and they started a new connection between Nor- norway and denmark next one the feudalism feudalism is called land ownership after the reign of william feudalism was developed and the churches were restructured land land ownerships transferred their lands to normans and they built several new monasteries churches too and there was a big revolution happened in uh, language that was considered as a english language english language revolution next Next one, we move to Magna Carta. Magna Carta is called as Great Charter of Freedom, which was agreed by King John. He was the son of Henry II and he opposes all the government rules. Uh, he completely against the people's welfare. Uh, in this time, Henry appointed Stephen as an archivist. But the, uh, King John refused and he designed Magna Carta. The purpose of Magna Carta is to, to make peace between king and baron. There was a problem arising between Pope and John, King John. So, Pope wanted to excommunicate king. Later, king accepted to sign Magna Carta. And many England nobles forced king to sign in Magna Carta. Next one, Black Death. Black Death, which was arrived in England in the year of 1348, in the period of time 16th century. The progress of plague was called Black Death. Many peoples were suffered and the society were highly affected by this disease. Uh, so, the king and the noblemen also uh, affected by this disease. So, that, that this disease was called as Black Death. Next one. P. Peasants revolt and, and war of roses. War of roses, there was a battle between two countries, Horse of Yorks and House of Lancastrians. House of Yorks is considered as a white rose and the House of Lancastrians is considered as a red rose. King Edward III, he had four sons. After the death of King Edward III, Richard II, he was guide, uh, guide Edward's sons to rule their country. And afterwards, Richard too, he stole and many uh, fortunes and uh, people's welfare too. So, these, are, these things are all happened in landmarks of English history. Next one, we have to see the Renaissance. The Renaissance movement which was started in Italy. Renaissance which means rebirth. Europeans spread the ancient Greek and Roman culture to Italy. And the Renaissance impacts are spread in art, literature, education too. At the period, peoples, they give priority to God and they give importance to earth and humanity. Renaissance thinkers, they started their interest to follow ancient and Greek cultures. And the artists, they presented their present things naturally. Uh, so it was uh, easily admired to people of the country. Next one, the Petrarch and Pocasio. They, they are considered as the uh, first Renaissance humanist. Greek scholars, they translated their writings into Italian style and the printing press was invented in the period of time which was invented by John Kittenberg. Next one, colonial exp- expansion. Colonial expansion which means that controlled by one's power over a dependent uh, area or or people. It was in the period of 15th and 16th century. It was considered as a uh, uh, it was it was many things were 
uh, it was many things were produced in this uh, in this period of time there was here uh, the queen of seas the england was called as queen of seas because they produced lo lots of textiles many countries were started their trading with uh, england so england was called as queen of seas england's culture spread in literature literature too shakespeare admired uh, she, she concept so he wrote uh, he wrote in his writings uh, he mentioned sea uh, sea scenes in his plays for example he wrote he, his he wrote uh, merchant of venice twelfth night tempest uh, these these works are uh, these works he mentioned see scenes in his works so people are uh, people are also uh, admired his writings and they started to reading uh, read reads shakespeare writings so he was the great uh, dramatist too um, the, these things are all happening in this um, colonial expansion period thank you guys